Christo's House is a shelter for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. It's a 36 bed facility and we average um, 150 to 200 different women a year staying for various times from three days to six months. A, a woman comes in with or without her children and we take her in. She's provided with everything free of charge. Um, clothing if she needs it. So many of our of the victims come in with absolutely nothing but the clothes on their back. So we provide clothing, of course shelter, food, hygiene products, transportation to and from, whether they need you know to look for housing, just are there for whatever they need. I want to talk a little bit about um, how what we do, how what we do as a website, and how selling beauty products helps women feel good about themselves and helps empower women. It's not about. Um, I'll give you a couple of very specific instances of that. Let, let's do that. I want to um, hear them. Using, for example, you had offered and donated some hair straighteners, <clears throat> and we dispersed for each woman that was living in shelter at the time and then a teenage girl that was with her mom, we set each a box of each one of them having one of those hair straighteners. It sounded like the bathroom was gonna take off because every one of them was in there playing with and doing their hair and having a grand time. I can give you a very personal story. When I moved into the shelter myself, I hadn't worn makeup, I hadn't done hair other than to comb it in probably a good six years because it just got so exhausting fighting the battle of survival. When I moved into the shelter, I went and got makeup. I used what was donated there at the time. So there's an empowering component to that. Not every woman's gonna come in and wanna do that. Right. But I can tell you, every woman living in the shelter at the time that those hair straighteners came in, they were lit up. So while it is vanity and not necessarily an essential to survival, Per se, it's not food, it's not clothes, it's not, you know, the money's help contribute to those vitals, and then the little nice extra helps contribute to her image of herself. When we join arms and are a sisterhood, we get so much further ahead together. Um, one of the things with abuse is the isolation factor and you start feeling like you have to compete with other people and especially women among women. And when we put down those barriers and unite, we get so much further ahead together than apart. One in four women are, they are enduring it in some way. Right now as we talk, somebody is experiencing a domestically violent situation in our circle and we don't even know it yet. So. It impacts all of us, and it impacts society as a result. So it's important to try to bring it to light and bring it forward. Well, I mean, I think this is, you know, as far as our little town and mm -hmm. our little businesses and what we can contribute, you know, hopefully this helps. And yes, it does. We want to build awareness, and we want to make people aware of what's going on. And Absolutely. You know. Anything we can do to work together to make it go away would be great.